Okay, this should be just a little quick video that I'm doing today. I'm not showing you casting these. These are just old um, bits that I'd cast a long time ago. This one has a flower in it and this is just Milly Burr. And I'm trying to simplify this way so that people without all the equipment can do it. So once you've cast it, um, you can sand these down, these blocks. If you, if you cast them thin enough, you can... You, you don't have a lot of sanding to do these can be sanded down on a block of sandpaper on a table I dry sand them just 120 to get them to that and now all I'm going to do today is I am going to sand up to 600 and then we are going to finish them slightly different normally I would quite a lot of um, buffing to get the shine on them but I think I might have found something that You'll not get the highest gleam with it, but you will get these near as damn to that stage. So I'm going to show you how to do them and they would be perfectly good enough for wearing or whatever. But anyway, I'll probably put these bits on time lapse and there will be some bits on time lapse. I only want this to be a quick video uh, just showing the finishing. Once we've done all of this out here, I'm going to go inside and finish the rest of it. Okay, that's them both sanded. The steps with the sanding, it's most important to try and sand as well as possible. That's it sanded up to 600. It's looking fine to me at the minute, so um, we're just going to go on to the next step, which will be inside. Okay, that's us back. Uh, there might be a little bit of noise in the background because um, I'm just editing this week's video, so the fan's going on the laptop just in case you're wondering what that noise is. So we've got our Yorkshire grit and we've got our microfine, Yorkshire grit microfine. The first bit that we're going to start with is the Yorkshire grit and I'm probably going to go over each side individually here and then just go over it all. Uh, right let's get some on here. Yorkshire grit's getting a bit dirty. So this is what I'm going to start off with. I go put it on top of here because this is going to be messy. Now you want to keep going over this. For a few minutes until you feel the grittiness going away from it. I have feelings for you. It's really nice on the wood this as well. It sort of gives that a final polish. It better be true. Now remember this isn't actually uh a finish this is just part of the sanding stages so you could put your finish on as normal Tell me again how this these tops you know they'll last you a good while if it was just jewellery you were using them for I mean they last me quite a while I don't do much um, wood turning but they still last a while I'm in love but it hurts hearts can be broken but keep trying to go each way and then go round and round because obviously the abrasive what it does it eliminates the smaller scratches okay let's get a clean cloth we'll use this now let's give it a wipe over Absurd. I'm getting crushed by 
Right, so that's the first paste and look at it already. That's just amazing. Now don't forget I've got two little bubbles in there. That's where those marks are from. But otherwise that would be already it would be perfect and yet we're going to be putting the other one on here. Right, so we'll go on and we'll do this other one now. I'll put that on a bit of a time lapse. So that I don't bore you too much. Right, so that's the first grit on and it's all been wiped off again. So, next we've got the microfine. And I found a little cloth. So, we'll put some of this on, we'll start with this one again. Now this is even finer, this one. Oh God, you probably hear my cat meowing out there. It's not Lily, it's the other one. don't know how well you can see it on the video but that's just brilliant saves so much work doing it this hearts can be broken but this is absurd i'm getting crushed by the weight of your words tell me again what you feel What you feel I can't believe this is real Hearts can be broken But this is absurd I'm getting crushed By the weight of your words Tell me again how this works So that's the microfines on, took what five or ten minutes to do the two coats of each and to clean them off but this isn't a finish, I mean it certainly you know finishes beautifully and everything but you tend to, I tend to find that you get fingerprints um, if I don't coat it with something else so here I'm going to use um, high gloss paste wax which I would use on the lathe but uh, I dare say you could use any finishing polish at this part. So let's get these polished and then I shall come back. Okay, that's these all done. Um, the wax just stops my fingerprints just marking the resin. don't know how well you can see this, but they are just perfect. Apart from my little bubbles in my resin. So, an easy way for you to shine up your jewellery and this stuff works brilliant so it's Yorkshire grit first then the Yorkshire grit 
microfine paste which is an even finer abrasion and then I just used a wax you can use any particular polish that you want really on them however you want to finish yours so I hope you enjoyed and um, I put all the links to the products down below because uh, this is a question I have been asked so many times is there any pastes or, or any polishes that you can use um, so this is the one that I'm going to recommend for your jewellery hope you enjoyed and thank you very much for watching